Well, hi there. I'm Peyton. About to play some cornhole. It's a game for two to four players involving a couple sets of bean bags and two different boards. It may seem simple at first, but once you add all the rules and strategies, it can become very competitive and exciting. So come along, I'll teach you how. Cornhole began as an indoor sport in the late 1800s and has since evolved into the outdoor activity we know it as today. The game gained traction in the 1970s and 80s in the Midwest, and in the 21st century, professional leagues have been started and host tournaments around the world for professional competition, while the game also remains a fan favorite at tailgates and backyard barbecues alike. To start playing cornhole, you need two boards placed 24 feet apart from the front end to the front end. The teams also get two sets of bags, and there are two teams that can either have one or two players on each. The bags are traditionally filled with corn, hence the name Cornhole. Start the game by choosing which team will go first. This can be decided however you like. First team throws its first bag, followed by the next team throwing their first bag. Alternate back and forth until all the bags have been tossed. In this case, we only have two players, so we'll need to walk to the opposite board, calculate the score, collect our bags, and throw back to the initial board. However, in the case of four players, you would not need to switch hands. Just calculate the score and collect the bags for the other team to return the tosses. Now let's talk about scoring. Hey, nice toss. One bag on the board means one point. One bag in the hole means three points. However, you're not guaranteed to get points every single time you throw, as the other team's throws can cancel out your score. So if I get two points on a turn and my opponent gets one, that means I get one point added to my score. If I get two points and my opponent gets none, that means I get two points added to my score. Let's look at a practice problem. As we know, the red team already has one in the hole and one on the board for four points. However, the blue team is now thrown and they got three on the board. That means they got three points. So who won this round and how many points do they get added to their score? That's right, the red team gets one point added to their score because they got four versus the blue team's three. To win in cornhole, you have to get to 21 points, so let's talk about some basic strategies you can use to help you get to that winning game. The first and most basic strategy would be blocking. This is done simply by placing your bags on the board in a way that makes it more difficult for the opposing team to get a full three points by getting it in the hole. So something like here or here would be a great way to block the team. Let's look at another situation. Here, both teams have two bags on the board, meaning no team would get any points in this round. However, the red team has one bag left to throw, and so a good strategy would be to knock the blue bag off the back of the board. Now the score is two to one, meaning the red team would gain one point to their score for this round. Those are the basics of cornhole. It's an easy game to learn, but a hard one to master with plenty of other rules and strategies you can add. So I'll go out, find some bags, find some boards, find a friend, and have fun. Mm -hmm.